Hello, Watson Books fans, this is Squirp1701, and tonight we are going to be taking a look at something very, very special. For this is a replica of the musical pocket watch featured in the 1965 classic western For a Few Dollars More. And if you've never seen For a Few Dollars More, it is the sequel of A Fistful of Dollars, starring Clint. Eastwood, and you throw in the good, the bad, and the ugly, and you have the man with no name trilogy, although he did have a name that they called him in all three movies, so that was kind of funny. Like in Fistful of Dollars, they called him Joe, in For a Few Dollars More, they called him Manco, and in The Good, the Bad, the Ugly, they called him Blondie. But officially, he didn't have an actual name, but Anyway, getting back to our review, this particular watch was of major significance to two of the main characters in this movie, the villainous Indio and the mysterious Colonel Mortimer. But you don't really understand the significance of the watch until you get all the way to the end. You just know that for most of the movie, you see that Indio uses it as kind of a countdown to when he's about to kill somebody. He will open up the watch and you hear it chime. And when the music ends, it's time for the shooting to begin. As the movie progresses, you see on the inside of the watch, there is a picture of a beautiful woman. And she's not really given a name in this movie. However, she is played by Rosemary Dexter. Rosemary Dexter did a few westerns back in the 60s. She did have a scene in this movie, although it was very small, but very memorable. And as we watch the movie, we find out that Indio's watch is actually one of a pair, and there's another one, and Colonel Mortimer has the second watch, until a certain no-name rogue decides to relieve him of it. And it really isn't until after the final duel that Colonel Mortimer tells Manco what the significance of the watch is and it's a great reveal. This is a great movie. If you've never seen For a Few Dollars More, I suggest you watch it. I suggest you watch the entire trilogy because they are all great western movies. That's one of my favorite genres. But anyway, that's enough of the history of this particular item. Let's jump into the review by first taking a look at the display case. As you can see, it comes in a very, very nice case. It is black, and on the front you have for a few dollars more, denoting the name of the movie. And this is really cool, very thick, very high quality. I really love the, this case and design. And very much, that's all it is, is just black with just that writing on the front. And it will open up. And as it opens up, you see some nice writing on the inside, and it says... When the chimes end, pick up your gun. Try and shoot me, Colonel. Just try. Okay, so it doesn't say all of that, but I couldn't stop his famous line. All right, so this is really, really cool. The inside, nice velvet, and as you lift it up, you can see the beautiful watch in there. And that is really, really nice. So we will go ahead and lift the watch out. And here you have the watch out of the box. And it comes in two parts. The watch itself is a very nice gold. And you have this cool little design. And it's your standard pocket watch. Up here is the button which you compress and it will open up. And actually, if you want to just play the music, you can hit that too, and it will start the music. On the back, you do see the same symbol here and the speaker, so that is neat. And it is attached to a 14-inch chain, which is really nicely done. It goes into a three-chained design, going to a single-chain design about three times for these three chains, and then the, the uh, single chain, and then the final chain, and then you have this clasp where you can just, you know, push down and then connect it to your pocket, however you would want to do that. It just comes there. And if you don't like this chain, you can actually take it off anytime you want by removing it from this clip right here. But why would you want to do that? This is really neat. Now, most today's 
outfits don't have a way to store or wear the pocket watch but if you have you know a vest or something i'm sure you can use a buttonhole to uh, button this into but anyway that is really neat so enough of the design let's go ahead and open this up and again like i said you open this up by pushing the button here at the top And so I'll stop the music and looking at the inside, you have this awesome analog timepiece. And this is very beautiful. Let's zoom in on this so we can see that this is very, very well done. You do have the Roman numerals for the numbers. You have a very beautiful gold inlay. You have the second hand right here. And as you can see, it is working. It is a workable watch and it is just so beautiful. Very classic. But the really cool part is, is if we turn this to the inside, we have Rosemary Dexter's picture and she is gorgeous. This is so authentic to the movie. You can see her there and wow, definitely, definitely a face worth fighting over. And this is beautiful. I love this design. I love that this is from a great movie and I am very happy to have this in my collection. Now, to get the music to start again, you can just press down on the top here. And there you have it, the awesome musical pocket watch from For A Few Dollars More. And that it was a great little tune that they had in there. It had some awesome chimes and you had a little bit of violin coming in there, kind of in the middle now. Authentically, the watch doesn't have violins, that's more for the movie score, but... There is a second version of this watch that you could find and buy that just has the chimes. So if you don't like the violin, then you could get the second version with just the chimes. But I like the violin. I thought it was a very nice touch. So yeah, this thing is really, really cool. All right, moving on. And this has been the replica musical pocket watch from the movie for a few dollars more and this is such an awesome piece and if you're a Clint Eastwood fan if you like the old westerns and the man with no name trilogy was kind of one of your favorites then you'll want to add this to your collection now for a few dollars more wasn't everybody's favorite movie but I thought it was the one that had the most heart and a lot of that had to do with this item right here. Again, I don't wanna give away the secret of this watch, but instead challenge you to go and watch for a few dollars more so you can see the significance of this awesome piece. All right, so that is it, that is the review. If you are looking for this because you are as much in love with this as I was, all you have to do is go to straightlinecollectibles.com and you will be able to purchase this watch or the watch that has just the chimes and not the added violin. Now this watch will set you back 
about $150, but it is well worth it. It is a very sturdy piece. It's a working watch. It looks great, and it's just an awesome movie replica. And if you're looking for the one with just the chimes, that's a little cheaper for $140. I guess taking out the violins is worth minus $10. But while you're at Straight Line Collectibles, you'll also find a lot of other Clint Eastwood movie memorabilia. They have guns, they have ponchos, they have hats, they have the awesome rattlesnake insignias that he has on his pistols, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So if you're interested, if you like Clint Eastwood stuff, check them out and maybe pick up some memorabilia for yourself. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you can forgive the fact that this item doesn't necessarily fall into the category of bots or books, but I still think it was something awesome that I wanted to share with you guys. All right, have a great night, and until next time, keep playing.